guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Linda. Good evening. Nice to see you. It's Friday. It's not Friday, but you know, basically, we are finishing grid number two, right? <laughs> we have to complete all the things as if it was right. And I don't know if you guys have any words on the things that are pending. Probably it's a pleasure to be connected so we can have our final session for unit number two. Okay. And uh, well, today we're going to have a full, view, full review from the topics that we have covered today on unit number two. And um, well, um, maybe we're going to clarify some questions that you might have as well. So how are you doing, Francisco? How are you doing, Daniel? How are you doing, Rafa, Ray, Gabriela, Linda, and Christina? How was your day? How was everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey. Nice. Uh, oh. uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, um, la escuchábamos un poco lejos. Sí. Muy cerca. Hable el, ahora. Tenía el mic aquí, mira. Thank you so much. Yeah, the mic was, you know, all the way. So I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was telling you guys that today is Friday, but <laughs> academically speaking, <laughs> because I know it's Wednesday, but then uh, today we are finishing unit number two and we are working on the midterm, right? Uh, and that must be done today. Um, so I don't know if you already worked on that. I saw some messages on the chat. I couldn't answer because at that time I was a little bit busy. But then I saw some messages that you had already fixed it, right? So you found the mistake. Am I right? Yes, thank you. Okay. So that means that you solved the problem yourself. You see, you're... Really good students. <laughs> okay, so, um, well, let me start by checking the attendance class so we can get started, okay? Uh, let's see number one on the list. And this is um, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Present, present. Thank you. So it's August the 1st. How does it feel on the first day, guys, of Fogo? of September, of August. September. It's a new month. Expectations for this new month? Any expectations for this month? Are you ready for, for it? Ready for challenges that you might face on this, this month? Looking at the bright side all the time? Uh, let's see, Christina. How's it going, Christina? Present. Good. Present. Uh, thank you so much, Christina. Daniel is Present. here. Good, Elsie. Elsie, not connected yet. Let's see, Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Harrison. Harrison, no. Okay. So Gabriela is here, Harrison is not here. Uh, Jose Miguel, Jose Ruben, JC. Present teacher. Thank you, JC. Uh, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marlene. Present. Uh, she's here. Thank you. Uh, Marvin. Marvin? No, not in here yet. Okay. Uh, good, evening. good evening. Norma. No, okay. And then Rafa. Thank you, Rafa. Raquel, Rachel, 
Present Thank you so much, Miss Ray. Xiomara? No, okay. Judy? Judy? No, okay. So thank you so much guys for being connected. I know, um, well, oh, Elsie is there. How are you doing, Elsie? Are you ready for today? Mm, fine. Nice. Are you ready for today's session? Ready for the class? Ready. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice to hear that. Well, um, so let me start today by checking, you know, um, well, we have something spending. We didn't finish yesterday an activity which was about uh, a writing you did. And we also have a whole review for today. But we also have another activity which we've been doing lately, and this is our listening, okay? So uh, on the chat, please, I want you to send me uh, two words you learned from the listening, okay? Two words, only two words you learned from the listening. I give you one minute. Okay, I'm waiting, guys. Did you send? I haven't seen anything on the chat. Did you listen to the listening? JC, Rafa, Cristina, Semenkel, Frisado. Oh, talks of service room. Okay, overeat. What is that, Linda? I'm sorry, that's Maria. Um, Maria Idalia, what is overeat? Um, demasiado, comer demasiado. And what is the uh, past form? How do you say you're comer? Over eight. Over eight. Over eight. Okay, I like it. Yes, yes, that's correct. What else did you learn? There are many things on this listening. What else? Había una frase, la verdad es que lo leí como rap, o sea, lo escuché rápido y leí el, el script rápido, eh, le di una media vista a las palabras, eh, y había una que decía beat, no sé qué. Mm -hmm. That's like really... um, me pareció interesante, pero... No sé, como la vi rápido, se me olvidó, la verdad. You forgot Los it. No sé qué, la voy a buscar. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Try to look for that one because it's very common. You'll, you'll hear people saying that phrase when they are going to eat. So they, they use that phrase very frequently. Okay, so what else? What about the other people? Guys, what did you learn from these listenings? Besides uh, Idalia and Cristina, who talked already about this, Daniel has the same uh, vocabulary, but what else? There is a lot on this listening. Any suggestion, guys? Quiero, no sé si me logran escuchar. ¿Me están escuchando? 
Elsie, can you listen to me? Escucha. Narciso. Yes, teacher. Bueno, yes, excelente. Teacher. Um, ¿Qué sugerencias tienen para hacer las actividades? Porque pues ha sido solo hacia arriba. No, but I couldn't open the link. Uh -huh. No, solo uno funciona, solo uno funciona. Teacher, teacher, solo uno funciona. Solo uno. El de Sergio. Exacto, el otro no funciona. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Exacto, sí, solo uno funciona. Uh, okay, do me a favor. Would your reactions show me a thumbs up if you completed it? Because like this, if you complete it, show me this like reaction with your reaction. Marlene did it, okay? Cristina, Maria Dalia. Three, Daniel, four. Tenemos four people. JC, five. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ya son cinco. Wow. That is more releasing, you know. That's, um, okay, estamos, eh, al menos la tercera parte. Okay. Uh, on the chat, do me a favor to uh, write the following. How many did, did you get? How many correct? Five out of five, uh, four out of four out of five so how many did you get correct be sincere please marlene good job maria idalia good job daniel four out of five which one did you get uh, incorrect daniel do you remember let me, let me check. Narciso, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay, five out of five. Raquel, Cristina, three out of five. Mm -hmm. uh, to glamorize to the man burger. Ah, okay. I remember. Yeah, I remember. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one, uh, the beverage that the men order, he says on the listening, right? He says uh, what the beverage is. Who remembers what, what the beverage is? Um, orange juice. Yeah, exactly. A glass of orange juice. Exactly. Yes. Um, yeah, Idalia, it's grab a, grab a bite to eat, exactly, exactly, it's, it's good. Okay, so what else? What else did you learn? Veo que, veo que le fue bastante bien en listening. Entonces, um, a la mayoría, por lo menos tenemos el de list, Cristina, que es, que es, ah, bueno, Raquel también, three out of five, pero aún así está bien, fíjense, tres de, tres de cinco, es, hemos sobrepasado más de la mitad y eso es una es un listening que va a little bit fast mm -hmm. okay good 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 um, por so, eso puedes entenderle piche muy rápido habla y este ustedes han ven el ven el este el script cuando lo van viendo se les hace un poco más fácil ¿O es lo mismo? La conversación. Sí. En lo personal, yo a veces lo escucho hasta como por cinco veces. Y si en realidad hay algo que no le entiendo, sí me voy a la conversación a ver como para entender las palabras. Uh -huh. Pero si no, estoy repitiendo, repitiendo y repitiendo hasta que ya más o menos entiendo. Uh -huh. Y al final para, para ver como el vocabulario, sí me voy a ver el, el escrito. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, Marlene, for sharing your experience. Yes, that is actually something personal, right? Maybe what works for Marlene can also work for me. And maybe what works for her might not work for me. So it depends, depends on how you learned. Like in my case, I like writing new words and 
maybe creating sentences whenever I don't know anything specifically, okay? But then, um, so thank you so much for um, sharing. Bueno, esta vez si pude, puedo ver que más, de, más eh, lograron escucharla. La verdad que eso es, sería el ideal, ¿verdad? El ideal que todos escuchen los audios, los listening, okay? Bueno, um, sí, quiero compartirle un poco más del listening porque la verdad que está bien interesante. Let's see, uh, what is room service? ¿Qué es un room service? What is room service? Is the labor to your room? Mm -hmm. When you are where? In a hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel. Okay. hotel. Yes. And what is um? What do you call the person who is like at the reception? or the, the person who's in charge of uh, taking the calls. This one, this person that is in charge of uh, this function, what do you call, what did she say on the conversation? Do you remember? Mm. No. Le quiero poner la primer parte, se lo voy a mandar en este momento, para que vean el saludo que hace. Hello, this is the front desk. Y le voy a decir el nombre, Tess speaking, how can I help you? Okay. Eso es bien común, es una manera de saludar y es de las más comunes, ¿verdad? Uh, this is the front desk, le voy a decir el nombre, speaking, how can I help you? Ok, that is the... ¿Qué significa Tess? Es el nombre de ella. Ah, sí, the no speaking, the uh -huh. speaking... Uh -huh. They're speaking, como decir, uh, hello, this is from desk, Armando speaking, or Narciso speaking, oh, how can okay. I help you? Uh -huh. it's, 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 it's the name from, from her. Okay, um, and let me see what, oh, esta frase, miren, what kind of dressing, what kind of dressing, who, que los que vieron, el, 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 escucharon la conversación, what kind, of, what kind of dressing? What do you understand for that? O oh, alguien sabe qué es what kind of dressing? ¿Qué significa eso? ¿Qué tipo? Pero dressing, uh, no ¿Qué dressing? tipo de, de aderezo? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay. ¿Cómo dirían cuánto tiempo va a tomar para que me traigan la comida? O solo cuánto tiempo va a tomar. How would you say that in English? 30 minutes. 30 yes. minutes. Yeah, it's actually 30 minutes. How many, how many time I'm going to receive the food? Mm -hmm. for, example, for example. Interesting what you are saying, Daniel. Is you can say how much time. How long? How long it takes? Exactly. Esa es la frase más común y la más aceptable. Uh, y dale how long, porque refiere en la conversación dice how long will it take? How long is it referring to time, right? How long, how long, siempre que diga how long refers to time. How long will it take? How long will it take? Si sí, esas frasecitas hay que irlas copiando y hay que irlas practicando y por supuesto si no se entiende traduciendo ok uh, well uh, that was basically uh, some of the vocabulary I wanted to share from the, from the listening y me gustaría que usted est estuviese listo con su vocabulario con su frase lo que aprendió y, y compartamos the way I did it ¿verdad? a lo mejor para usted había más cosas nuevas y que quiere compartirla con su compañero. Um, please, do it, guys, do it. I'm, I, I'm like, I'm insisting, I keep on uh, insisting on this because I know how important this is. When it comes to listening, it's so crucial that you guys uh, develop this skill because by listening, you can also improve your speaking because you can associate sounds, you can associate pronunciation, and then you can speak. So both skills are related. I mean, actually the four skills are related. And that's why I want you to please dedicate some time on these activities, okay? And like Marlene said yesterday, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes during the day, you know, is something 
but just do it. Do not uh, do it like, uh, it's not an obligation because it's not a must do. It's up to you, but then uh, please do it for next time. Okay, um, so we're going to move on and uh, on these activities. Yesterday we had, uh, what did we learn yesterday or what did we practice yesterday? Do you remember, guys? We practiced the auxiliary, auxiliary wood. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I like that. Yeah, we practice the wood, right? We practice, this is a modal, but it, we can also say it auxiliary, but then it's like, it's more like a modal verb. Yes, we practice on that. And I remember that we talked about wood and then we talked about a wood plus base form. For example, um, Narciso, wood plus base form, what is it? And we also have wood plus like to, like I would like to, and then we have some sentences. So do me a favor, open your mic and talk to me, please. Open your mic and give me an example with wood. That's it. Open your mic. Talk to me about something you would like to do or you would do. Any, anything that comes to your mind? I would like to get a promotion at work and I would like to earn more money. <laughs> Sounds really good. I like I like those examples. I would I would like to be promoted at work, right? Yeah. I would like to be promoted. I would like to earn more money. Yes, sounds good. Really good examples. Thank you for sharing then. Anybody else, what comes to your mind with, with the sentences that we practiced yesterday or the structures that we practiced yesterday that you want to say? You can also I... use other subjects. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Daniel, I'm so sorry. I would like travel to... Europe, 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 Europe. Yeah. yeah, sounds really good. Yeah, nice idea. Mm -hmm. And then when you add in, the, in those countries, you won't be, you won't like to come back anymore. You, might, I, I had, a, I have a friend who went to those countries. Uh, he went to Europe, and he didn't want to come back. To his example, he said that he loved the ladies down there, but he didn't have money to continue there. You know, that's that's so sad. But that was just something that I wanted to share. Okay, what else? What else? Any other example, guys? Don't be afraid. Please open your mic. Compartame sus. I ejemplos. go. Hmm? I would like to go to the stadium tomorrow. Nice. Who's oh, playing? Oh yeah. What? What's? Who's playing tomorrow? <laughs> Come on, Who's teacher. No, I've been very I'm busy, man. I, I, I've been very busy. <laughs> I heard my co my colleagues talking about that in the morning, but I didn't pay attention because today was the first day of September. And then this week we've been working on Independence Day like activities and I haven't been able to, you know. But then I listened so to- Tomorrow is holiday. Is it? Yeah. Why? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because oh, the because match. I play the <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I see oh. what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I wish. I wish it was holiday, but not for me. I have to go to work. Okay. So, uh, uh, oh yeah, I think I I had forgotten it. Love you, Vidal. So no problem. Thank you so much for reminding me about that. Okay. And what else? What other sentences or statements, guys? I like to change my car. <laughs> okay. Okay, that sounds like a good one. <laughs> we all wanna do that, right? Yeah. And you know what happened, Marlene? Um, sometimes I remember when I first uh, had the first one that I had, I wanted to have something I said, no, at least that one. Now, when you get the one you wanted to get, you want another one, a newer one. And that's, you know, yeah. Yeah, newer one, newer <laughs> one. Really? Yeah, you know, we are never satisfied. Yes. Nunca estamos contentos, you know. We have, we have to be grateful. Never. At all. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Any other any any other sentence, guys? Thank you so much, Marlene, for sharing. Any other guys? Any other uh, statement that you want to share with me? With wood. And give me example with Thank other subjects. Know. How would you say a mi jefe no le gustaría que llegue tarde todos los días? How would you say that in English? Uh, my boss don't like it. Uh -huh. hey. A mi jefe no le gustaría que yo llegue tarde mm -hmm. todos los días, pero como me duermo. How would you my say that? My boss not arrive every day. Hmm. So, mándenme las al chat porque I hear many voices. Y I think that como que está poseída la, la, la sesión. So, uh, send me your ideas, please. I want to read them. A ver quién envía primero y la envía correcta. Let's see. The fastest in this group. The fastest. And the, the, ac the accurate. Ya tenemos una. Ajá. My boss wouldn't, wouldn't arrive late every day. Mm. Mm. La, la oración está bien, pero significa mi, mi jefe no, llega, no, no, no llegaría tarde cada día. But what I said is, Mar, Cristina, a mi jefe no le gustaría que yo llegue tarde. Marlene, my boss would like to, to get, like to, uh, like get mm, something is, something must be changed. Something must be changed, Marlene. Think about that. A mi jefe no le gustaría que yo llegue tarde todos los días. How would you say that? A ver, quien lo envía. No lo vengan a traducir, please. Just start creating yourself. Challenge yourself. No vayan no, no a irse a Google. Yo lo que es como yo. Exactamente. I can see that. Y por supuesto que voy a aceptar que me digan sus. Don't go to Google. Piense. Think about. Rubén, that is correct, Rubén. That's the, that's, that's the one. My boss wouldn't like me to be late. Exactly, that's the one. Every day, nada más. That's the one, Rubén. My boss wouldn't like me to be late. Ese, ese me es lo que necesitamos justamente en ese espacio que recibe la acción. Eso es, un, eso es un objeto directo. Por ejemplo, a mí no me gustaría que Marlene llegara tarde. I wouldn't like Marlene to be late. I wouldn't like JC to be late or to arrive late. Okay, that's the structure. That would be the correct structure. Okay, see? We do not have to come late at work because our boss would be. <laughs> okay. It's because you take the food. Maria Dale. Hi. Is that because you take the food? I don't understand. Excuse me. It's angry. No, Sorry, I, I'm confused with that. I, I got it. I got it. I was just pulling your legs. Solo está molestando, okay? Yeah, porque ahí suena como que usted lleva la comida al trabajo y por eso va a estar, va a estar hambriento, okay? But it's okay. Yes, angry, hungry, hungry is, is what you you're saying here. But it's angry with that with an a a as in apple. Okay, uh, so that's good. How would you say? Um, me gustaría que usted preste atención. Me gustaría que usted complete los ejercicios de listening. Veamos solo. Me gustaría que usted complete los 
ejercicio de listening. How would you say that? Siendo la estructura que suggested Rubén, how would you say, me gustaría que usted complete los ejercicios? Ahí vamos. Solo una pequeña observación y dale. I would like you, para unir el verbo que viene, to complete. Uh -huh. en, y queda perfectamente. I would like okay. you to, com to complete. And that's perfectly fine. Exactly. Entonces, después de would like, le ponemos la ex. El quien recibe the action, who receives the action, and then we write the, the complement. Así. That's, esa es estructura, guys, exactly, Marlene, esa es estructura, apréndansela, porque de repente cuando queremos traducir y no, ya nos conocemos la estructura, ponemos de más o ponemos menos y ya confundimos. Pero si saben, oh, this is the structure, boom, here we go. I would, la I would love you to come with me. Miren? I would love you to come with me. Me encantaría que vinieras conmigo. I would love you to come with me. I would love you to go with him. Esas estructuras así son esenciales, son tan útiles, porque cuando no las conocemos, agregamos con, con información y eso, instead of helping, affects. Sí, esas acríbanas siempre. That's so important. English is so direct. It's so easy when you know this structure. Uh, me encantaría que aceptaras su error. How do you say that in English? I would like to see you today. Mm -hmm. Sí, esa me, 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 me encantaría verte ahora. ¿Y cómo diría entonces él sí me encantaría que me vieras ahora? He wouldn't like, he wouldn't like to me be late. Ah, Thank you, Narciso. Ahí está, ya hicimos la, la corrección, ¿verdad? He wouldn't like me to be late. Primero ponemos el me, después el to, para unir el verbo. Ok, good. Uh, I wouldn't like, I would like, I would like you to accept. Vamos a poner el to para agregar el verbo accept. I would like you to accept your mistake. El to lo invertimos. Que es, ese va para conectar al verbo. I would like you to accept your mistake. And that's the correct one. Vale, María, y dale. Ok. Uh, I would like to buy that shirt. Me gustaría comprar esa camisa. Yes. Mm -hmm. La estructura que estoy sugeriendo es aquella donde involucra a una segunda, tercera persona. Yes. O oh, incluso primera persona. Esa es la estructura. Pero lo demás, eh, la estructura que me están mandando algunos está correcto. Ok. Um, yep. What questions do you have? ¿Qué preguntas tiene? Questions? ¿Alguien uh, le gustaría comentar o preguntar algo sobre el tema? Wood. Yo estoy confundida en cuanto a, a, a dónde ver tú, porque en la primera oración. No se lo puse. Y en la segunda que se lo quise poner, se lo puse mal. Sí, es, es, es el tú. ¿Cuál es la estructura? La estructura de la oración en dónde debe de ir el tú. Vaya. Justamente después que escribe el objeto directo, en ese caso, me, you, o la, el nombre de una persona, para conectar al verbo que, que sí, ahí va. Es decir, justamente después para conectar la acción. La acción que, que prosigue, que, pros, que, que continúa, es eh, una estructura que se la voy a compartir en este momento que lleva la misma fórmula. Es, uh, por ejemplo, mire, uh, ¿cómo diríamos, solo para ilustrar la misma idea, cómo diríamos, um, uh, a ver, necesito que me ayudes a hacer la tarea?
como I would, I would like I would like to I would like you help me to make uh, to make a I tarea. need to help <laughs> Uh -huh. eh, Daniel, eh, me gusta la, la idea ¿Cómo la va? Pero ahorita la, la pregunta es para, eh, En la misma línea este, Escuche, me necesito Que me ayude a hacer la tarea I need, I need to help Your I help need to, I, need to, I, I need to help me I need to help my To do my, my do, do homework To do my to do my homework, yes. Help me. I need homework. to help me to do my homework. Mm. Yeah. Todo, ¿sí? <laughs> <laughs> ya casi lo logran, sí. La verdad es que ya casi lo logran. Falta un detallito ahí todavía. I need you to help me. Exacto. Faltaba el you. I need you to help me. Porque si es, eso es lo que quería mencionar, mire, lo voy a mandar. I need you, I need you to, to help me. Entonces, I need you to help me. Es ¿Por qué saco esta, este ejemplo? Porque mire, después, para unir la acción que continúa, yo pongo to help me. I need you to help me. I need you to help her. Es lo mismo con el would like. Por ejemplo, I would like alguien to do something. ¿verdad? I would like Rubén to clean the room. I would like Linda to... Um, Sing a song. I would like Linda to be my friend. Es justamente después de eso, ponemos who receives the action y luego una acción conectada con to. ¿Sí? Esa es la estructura. Sé que no es parte de, de la... Sí conecta con el tema, porque es wood y todo eso, pero la estructura que estoy mostrando es el, estamos agregando un verbo, una acción, conectándolo con, con to. Para, Teacher, ajá. Eh, es para no llevar dos verbos seguidos. Es para no ponerle este, tanto, es para no ponerle, digamos, vaya, porque yo voy a, voy a mencionar lo siguiente. Al principio yo leí la, la oración de Marlene. Marlene había escrito la primera que escribió. Y había escrito, ay, no sé qué. Ya la, si gusta, la, la voy a copiar para que la, la analice. Déjeme ver, Marlene, porque eso es lo, lo primero que se piensa, guys, y lo digo con, el, con la intención de, 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 aprender, de aprender, Marlene. Marlene nos compartió esto. Es una de las primeras cosas que se piensa. La voy a mandar en este momento al chat. Ah, ella mandó esto. My boss wouldn't like to I get late at work. Ella sentía la necesidad de poner I, porque soy yo quien no va a llegar tarde al trabajo, ¿verdad? Es donde ahí es donde vamos a reformular y ponemos el objeto que recibe la acción. Entre esos guys, este, los object pronouns. Está me para yo, you para tú, us para nosotros, them para ellos. Yo se los mencioné esto en, en, cierta, en cierta clase, los vimos. You, them, us, uh, her, him, los que reciben las acciones. Entonces, solo como manera como esta clase de repaso, considero bien, voy a hacerlos mandar en este momento. Vaya, I, me. ¿Entendés? Okay. You, uh, you, es el mismo. Uh, quiero ver, they, them que son los que reciben acción. El we, ¿cuál es el de we? Dijimos. Us. Us. Bien. Uh, ¿Qué falta? She, her, he, him. him. Son los que reciben la acción. Those are the things that receive the action. Y es lo que estamos tratando de, de ejemplificar, ¿verdad? Uh, voy a dar un ejemplo. I... Necesito que usted le ayude a ella. I need, I need you to help her. I need you to help her. 
I need you to, to help her. Can I use that? I need you to help her. I need you to help her. Okay. Directo. Directo. Apenas esa estructura que es bien, bien necesaria. It's super useful. Goes to the point. No, no se va a uh, divagar. It doesn't go around the bashes. It goes directly. Okay. Um, so, me gustaría que crearan un ejemplo para ver si más o menos he comprendido. Y hagámoslo con would para volver al tema. I would like her. Miren que tal que me salió algo cursi. I would like, I would like her to be my, my girlfriend. I would like Teacher. her to. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, Ajá. En el ejercicio 5 es word o would. Es wood, sí, ayer. En el del manual. Es wood, ayer se decíamos que había un spelling mistake ahí. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Es ah, okay. wood, okay. wood, exactly. Let's talk about wood, guys. Y podemos usar um, I would, I would, uh, I would help him, I would help him if I miren este I would help him if I could ahí me salió un poquito más a little bit more advanced uh, le ayudaría si pudiera quien a él I would help him ese, ese es la acción receives the action okay um, give me your examples tratemos de crear sigamos la estructura Si no se ha comprendido, please let me know. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. You can try. Y en ese momento, yo creo que estamos en un safe environment y si le corregimos su error, no es con la mala intención. Así que después ya no va a querer, ya no va a querer mandar sus mensajes. No, I mean, it's, it's okay to make mistakes. So send your, your sentences or read them out loud so we can hear them. Think about it. I'm gonna give you two minutes, about two minutes. Give me one example. Okay, I would like you to visit. Mm -hmm. Está bien. Está bien. La, me gustaría que me visitara este, en Navidad. I would like you to visit. Me. Solo vamos a poner on Christmas porque on es más para fechas, Italia. On Christmas or in Christmas, que es más para, for date. Y lo demás está bien. I would, I would like him. Después de would like him, la otro, el otro verbo norma to travel, porque ahí conectamos el otro verbo, el to travel. I would like him to belong. Ah, ajá, esa está bien linda. I would like him to belong uh, to our team, a uh, nuestro equipo. Okay, yes, there we go. I like it. Ajá, uh -huh. nice. Thank you so much. I would like to, I would like to trip with her. Mm -hmm. Si se puede ese, está bien, Narciso, me gustaría viajar con ella. I would, like to, I would like to go for a walk. Está bien ese, Rubén, lo único que salió más eh, de manera, uh, like, in first person, no incluyó a nadie más. Okay, but that's okay. What else? One more example. Algunos nos mandan ejemplo. Estamos 20 conectados. Se quedan dormidos. Tienen sueño. Let's see. Todos tienen cámara apagada. I would like her to go to, to, to go to the party. Uh -huh. Cristina, I like that example. I would like her to go to the party. Go to the party. Uh -huh. me, me gustaría que ella, que ella vaya a la fiesta. 
That's correct. What about the other ones? She would cook. Mm. Uh, she would cook for him. She, uh, she would cook for him. No, she would cook. Pongámosle mm. for para que no se va a malinterpretar. She would cook for him. Y luego uh, que puedes otra vez for dinner. Dos veces for. She would cook for him for dinner. Uh, porque uh, to him she will cook to him for to dinner mm, no o a menos que dejemos así mire she will cook uh, to him mm, suena como que a él lo va a cocinar no, digamos for him para él she will cook for him for dinner usemos dos veces for dinner no puede ser to dinner porque el, el to no puede conectar a dinner porque dinner es un sustantivo, no es un verbo. No podemos hacer to dinner, es for dinner. Ok. Um, I would like him to play soccer. On, esa salió en Chiva, normal. I would like him to play soccer on Sunday. I would like to go to the cinema with... Mm, esa no, Judy, porque ahí... ¿quién, qué, ¿Quién va a ir? ¿Quién va a ir con usted? I would like... I would like, ¿quién? Ella, él, ellos, que vayan conmigo al cine. Falta algo ahí. I would like to go, I would like to go, mm, Xiomara, I would like to go her visit my mom. No, acordémonos de que primero, después del el like, si va a poner, va a ir el, el que recibe la acción. El caso suyo, Xiomara, sería, I would like her to visit my, grand, my, my mother. I would like her to visit my mother. I would like him to, ahí él si le falta después de, I would like him to, ahí falta el verbo go, go to the church with me, que vaya a la, a la, a la iglesia conmigo. Porque ahí no le puso después. De ahí sería, si traducimos eso, sería, me gustaría que él, al, eh, que iglesia conmigo. Go to the church with me. Falta el, el verbo go. I would like, I would like to my mother to. Solo que tú no va a ir. Eh, sería, I would like my mother to clean the house. Porque le ponemos tú al verbo, no al, 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 al objeto. I would like my mother to clean the house. I would like us to visit grandmother. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's correct. Uh, that's correct, Maria. And that's correct, uh, Raquel. You would like to dinner. You would like to dinner with us. With us. Entonces, pongámosle con nosotros, Narciso, with us. As, 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 me equivoco, ajá, ajá. Y de dedo, eh? as. Sí, yeah, you would like, you would like to dinner, to yes. have dinner, <laughs> to, to, to have dinner with us. Uh -huh. I would okay. like, I would like us to go to the beach next month. Uh -huh. Jose would like Sofía to dance with him in the party. Esa salió nítida, linda. I like that one. Esa es la estructura. Uh, we would like you to go to the cinema. También está... Exactly. That is the structure. Se estamos conectando las ideas super bien. And that's the idea. Que es la, la, sigamos la estructura. I would like her to go to visit my grandma, my mother. Exactly. Exactly. Well, good. Thank you so much. Veo bastantes ejemplos y así me gustaría siempre los leyendo. Que la otra vez lo van a leer ustedes. <laughs> okay, but that's really good. I like it. I like when you send a lot of messages on the, on the, on the chat. So that's good. Uh, now, we are going to continue, guys. And today, uh, I know we had this pending. I don't know if there is anyone who would like to share. Alguien que le gustaría compartir. From yesterday, I, ayer, solo escuchamos a uno. Yesterday, we only listened to some of you. I don't know if, if there is anybody who wants to read the text from yesterday. Si usted lo comparte, le ayudamos a corregir. Y eso es bueno. Y no es... No, it's, it's nothing negative. So.
we don't have anybody. Come on, guys, come on, come on. Share with me, please. Compartan con la clase. Habían solo como tres compartieron ayer. Lo elegimos. Who read yesterday? Who shared yesterday? Marlene, Marlene, can you choose someone, please? Okay. Mm. Norma. Sounds good. Thank you. You should mainly know the company to form policies if they accept the product chains or case reform. The second, listening to the customer is important. Knowing the problem of the product. And three, looking for an alternative solution. Four, everybody wants to understand the problem is asked for the proof of purchase of the product. Many times, if you lose the invoice, you lose the warranty. And five, um, make the chain of the product. Only that. Good. I like the ideas. If you lose the invoice, you basically lose everything, right? And I like when you said, uh, look for an alternate solution. That's a good one. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think it's it, it's okay. We can move on. Thank you so much for sharing, Norma. That was really good. Uh, we are going to continue, guys, with this vocabulary practice. And I want you to please match uh, the, what, the different steps to follow when making an online purchase, okay? So take one or two minutes. If you haven't done this, please go ahead and complete it right now. Match, vamos a hacer un match. For example, credit cards, what? What's the answer, credit cards? What's the answer? Credit cards? Payment. Payment. Yeah. Information. information. Yeah, information. Yes. Okay. Continue. Please.
All right, so I think it's enough time. Let's start sharing, guys. Let's see, let's see what you have, how you completed it, okay? So on this column, we have uh, here, um, on this column, on the light blue column, credit cards, confirm your information, select the item or items, go to the right, check, confirm the method and login. And then we have on the other one, we have the complement. So let's see, uh, number one, we had it already, which is credit cards information. What about next one? What's a complement for this one? Confirm your information. Submit. 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 Okay. Submit. okay. Uh, great. What about select the item or the items? Purchase. Good. Good. Um, go to the online web page. Online web page. Okay. Right. Right what? Nice. So you... Check. Check the price. Account. Check the price. 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 Check the price. Good. Confirm the method. Method. Okay. 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 And the last but not the least, login to your account. Your account. Okay. Any question, guys? Any question on this? Any question? Are we fine with this? Do you understand this vocabulary? Pronunciation? Are we okay with this? No pronunciation questions? No? Seguros? Todos podrían pronunciar eso sin ningún problema y entenderlo? Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. Appreciate that. Let's move on. Let's move on on these. Uh, we have next uh, vocabulary practice. And uh, well, this is a little bit long. Ask different partners uh, valid reasons why customer can ask for a refund and reasons they cannot give, they can't ask for it. Entonces tenemos, we need to complete this chart. Vamos a poner el nombre de nuestro compañero. Eh, ¿Cuál sería una razón por la que pediría el refund y cuál sería una razón por la que no aplicaría a un, a un refund un cliente? Ok, um, we have one, two, three, four. La verdad tenemos four spaces here, pero antes de compartir me gustaría que usted piense en uno. Ponga su nombre y de una acceptable reason en una, y una unacceptable reason to ask for a refund. El propósito es que sea válido o no válido para pedir un refund, las razones, okay? Let's think about it para que luego podamos compartir, okay? I'm gonna give you uh, three minutes for you to write one, please. If you finish, guys, uh, let me know, please, when you have yours ready.
Can you stay there? Thank you so much. One more minute, please. He did not think it was colored. What? He did oh, not, he, I didn't no, understand. No. He did not with color. What do you say? What was that? <laughs> what was that? He say what? No. Yeah, say what, <laughs> that's bien común escucharla. Say what? Uh -huh. Finish. Okay, good. Let's see. Acceptable reasons and unacceptable reasons, okay? Um, sometimes customers, guys, they just want a refund, but they don't They don't say, I mean, there's. there must be something valid, right? It's not that just, uh, I want it and that's it. No, there's a, a procedure, right, that you have to follow, that they have to follow or stick to due to uh, company policies sometimes, okay? So um, before we start sharing and gathering information, I want to uh, check the attendance, okay? So give me one second, I'm gonna start doing this because uh, it's already nine, nine of three, okay? So let's see, uh, one second, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, Elsie. I turn off my cam because I have problems. I have present teacher. Get it, get it, get it. Thank <clears throat> you so much, Daniel. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Elsie. That was Elsie, right? Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Harrison. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Jose Miguel is here, okay. Um, Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you. JC. I'm here. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Marvin Omar. Marvin? Present, present. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. A mejor teacher. Thank you, Raquel. Present. Thank you, Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara and Judy. Judy? Judy was here. All right, she's there. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, we are going to now share some reasons, some valid reasons, some invalid reasons, or unacceptable reason for a refund. Okay, remember that, um, well, this is a free, um, let's say, format. You guys can ask your partners, uh, write your name, and and also the reasons that they give you, okay? Valid or invalid reasons, okay? So um, try to take advantage of the time, guys, to fill out this uh, chart, and then we'll, sh we'll share as a whole class. As of now, I'm going to create the groups for you to start asking. If there are only three people in your room, complete three, okay? okay? If there are more, maybe you want to complete, you know, more than three. Okay, so take turns so you can complete this exercise. Here we go.
Hello, Norma. Hello, Norma. <laughs> what happened, Norma? Who were you practicing with? With Jaycee and Maria Julia, pero no pude venir Okay, no, no problem. Let me let me go ahead and assign you again. Thank you. Don't know the price with online web page.
is other color. Because it is color. The product no, no is request. incorrect. It's different to the image. To the it's different to the image. Is mm -hmm. incorrect. Uh -huh. It's different. Y porque digamos, si usted pide, hace una compra en línea y usted pide un número 7 y le manda un 8, obviamente no lo va a usar, lo tiene que ir a cambiar. Pa. De hecho, lo tendrían que cambiar. Because it's, an, because it's another size. Es otra talla. O, o solo lo puede poner de manera de producir. Did you finish? No. <laughs> you were sharing. I know. I know. But it's okay. Maybe you didn't finish uh, all this chart. But at least you were able to listen to your peers. Okay. And I need some volunteers to socialize what you heard on your groups. And or maybe your ideas, which we haven't heard yet. So who wants to share? Raise your hand to read maybe your idea and then your, your peers' idea. At least one each. Who wants to volunteer? Elsie. Thank you so much, Elsie. I see that you want to participate. That is so cool. Go ahead, please. Teacher, permítame. Eh, 
anybody else? Okay. Maybe. Uh -huh, go ahead. Ok, tengo que decir lo que mis compañeros dijeron que era no aceptable en inglés. Ok, okay. Yeah. Rafael dijo, the product is broken. Eh, mm, change in the size. Y no warranty. Eh, ahí me confundí. No warranty. Tengo que arreglar. Warranty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no warranty. It's okay. Um, good. Uh, what about your one? ¿Y la suya, Elsie? What did you write? Eh, ¿Qué le dijo? Okay, we're going to give Elsie some minutes. It's okay. Let's listen to somebody else. Vamos a esperar a Elsie. Escuchemos a alguien más. Let's see who wants to go next. Me, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Go ahead. Um, acceptable reason is for factory damage. And acceptable reason is because he did not fit the side that about online begin on self. Okay, I like it. He didn't see the sign, okay, online, okay. He misunderstood the promotion. No entendió bien la, la promoción, okay. Okay, good. One more participation, please, one more. I wrote, um... When the company doesn't have in the stock uh, the product that the client has paid for, um, if the company has charged an, an incorrect amount, and when the product is failed. Nice. Thank you. Good reasons. I like them. Yeah. Great reasons for, you know, either get or not a refund. Thank you so much, Idalia. Anybody else? Don't take it for yourself. Don't keep your ideas. Please go ahead and share. Okay, no problem. Then. All right, thank uh, you, Daniel. Uh, the cell phone doesn't work properly. It is, uh, and the other is the phone is broken because I dropped it. Mm -hmm, because it chopped it, okay. Then it's not a reason to get a refund because you basically damage it, right? Makes sense, yes. makes yes. sense. Physical damage, mm -mm, not refund reasons, accepted, okay, good. Thank you so much for that. Uh, well, we have to move on because time really, 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 really flies, right? And there are some things that we haven't done yet. And uh, well, I want to move on on the next page, guys. And this is about demonstrative, demonstrative pronouns or demonstrative pronouns as you prefer to pronounce it and we are going to complete this exercise right here okay this time we are going to use um, either of these options to complete these statements or, or um, maybe short questions this that these and those Okay, so number one, let's see, let's solve it as a whole class. What do you think is the, the first one? How could you buy something like what's missing? Look what it says in the in the parentheses with a pile of reports on your lap. Okay, so we say, Daniel? Mm, this, because... He's talking about a person in your hand, in my exactly, hand. Exactly, exactly. Yes. This. How about yes. number two? Reports are very heavy with a pile of reports on your lap. 
these reports are very heavy. Exactly. This plural, right? Yes, I can hear the difference. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, what about number three? What do you have for number three? Let's complete uh, number three. I had to wear, and then um, can you bring me? And then our Mr. Pineda's children, okay? And in the picture, you see, complete them, please, and send me your answers on the chat. Okay. So whenever you finish, just go ahead and send it to the chat. I'm going to be um, checking in there, okay? What is in the, in the parentheses, guys, will give you the idea if it is near or if it is far, that is uh, a key. Mm All right, so let's share. What do you have for number two, Christina? I'm sorry, for number three, what do you have for number three? I had to wear these com constable shoes I bought. Um, oh, so number three, you say that is this, right? I had to wear uh, these uncomfortable shoes i bought hmm. do you have any other idea any other quest any other possible option those exactly okay. and i want to say uh, this is those because uh, whenever you are referring to a past situation okay in this case the very is in the past so it stays, you know, behind. It's not in the present. That's why the best answer is what Marlene said. This is those, okay? Because you are not, you're not at the moment, you know. Uh, you're not, you're not at the moment. If that was at the moment, yeah, it might change the opinion. But in this case, it's in the past, so it's those. What about number four? What do you have for number four? Any volunteer? What is it number four? Mm -hmm. Can can you bring me that cup I left in an Anna's desk? Exactly. It's not this because you're pointing, right? You're pointing. It means it's not near. It's basically you cannot reach it. It's far from where you are. So that why you say uh, basically that, right? Or number four, that cap. Not with me, it's just right there, it's over there. Good. What about number five? What do you have for number five? Any volunteer for number five? Me. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Linda. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. Children, yes. Children. 
Yeah, you say those because you're basically pointing or, or looking at a picture that is hanging on the wall. Exactly. You cannot, you cannot reach the picture. The picture is just right there, but you cannot touch it. And what about number six? This is the last one. In my the, picture. Okay, thank you. What is it? In, in that picture, in that picture, you see my wife and doctor. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Let me send it to your to your to the to the chat. I just sent it and thank you for answering, guys. Thank you so much for your participation. I really like it. Whenever you participate voluntarily, that's just awesome. So let's move on. We finished this activity with uh, Ken and Kuda, guys, and then we have one more activity that I want to do with you guys today. So let's do this really quick. Um, and then we have from one to six, uh, complete these questions and then ask. Uh, then to a partner, write, the, write down the answer. So let's see, can you, could you, can you, how could you, who can you, and why could you? Open questions, guys, open questions. Go ahead and start writing only the questions. Solo las preguntas at this moment, please. Um, free questions, preguntas libres, okay? Go, let's take five minutes to formulate. Okay, let's take uh, one more minute or two more minutes, please. Let me know when you finish, please. Or if you have questions, guys, tienen preguntas, please don't hesitate to ask. Por favor, háganlas.
Rafa finish, Ruben finish, Daniel finish, not yet, she need more time, Marlene finish. Yes, you did. Okay, good. Uh, JC finish. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, okay. How many are you missing? ¿Cuánto le faltan? One, two, three. One. One, okay, one. Okay, Number so one. Six. Okay, good. Good, good. One more minute. Narciso finished? Not yet. Not yet, sure. okay. Not yet, okay. How many are you missing? I'm going to give you uh, two more minutes, okay? So, so you can finish. Okay, guys, uh, we are going to start sharing because I know uh, time really flies and well, um, but I don't know if you have questions with this. Uh, it is okay if you have questions. It's okay. You can ask. Okay. Uh, these are free questions. Some preguntas libres that you could complete. And it is important that you guys uh, ask them to a partner so you know if the other people or person understands it. Entonces se la van a formular a su compañero para ver si se, si se comprende la pregunta y no se la traduzca, porque de repente eh, la hace y no la entienden, la dice en español. Don't do that. So just keep it in English and also give your answer based on the question, okay? So even though this is a pair work activity, we are gonna, I'm going to make groups of three, trios, so you can interchange and interact asking questions to each other. Así mientras uno pregunta, the other one listens, and that's the way it's going to work. Okay, take advantage of the time, please, because we don't have much time, and I do want you to ask as many questions as possible. Tome ventaja del tiempo, no, tengo, no tenemos demasiado, pero sí me gustaría que haga formule las preguntas que, que sean posibles en el tiempo permitido, okay? Um, so I'm going to assign you right now to the groups, and we can start asking questions each other. Do you have any questions before I move on with the breakout rooms? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? No? Yes? Okay, here we go. Then.
What? Bring me. Bring. Uh -huh. What can you bring me for the lunch? Okay. Teacher. Ahí estaba el teacher. Yes, I am here. Tell teacher. me. Tell me, Linda. La pregunta. Mm -hmm. What can you bring? Mm -hmm. No sé si bring to me o se podría ser bring me for the lunch. Bring me for lunch, yes. Bring me is okay. What can bring you bring me? me? Mm -hmm. What can you bring me for lunch? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, for good. lunch. Uh, no, lo, the lunch. Okay. Está bien. What can you bring me for lunch? I uh, can bring you some... <laughs> some what <laughs> some sandwiches <laughs> okay uh, so keep practicing okay see you around ask each other and write the answers okay Ya hiciste las tuyas, Cristina. Sí, pero es que yo no, no sé si me... Sí, pero yo no, no sé si me... Si quieren les digo la primera. A ver. Vaya, what can you give to the dream? What can you give? No sé si. Can you give to the train? Que si puedes dar bebida o algo así. Ajá, traer la bebida. O, o dar la bebida, algo así. Give. Give. Yes, I can. Teacher. Yes, tell me. No, respuestas cortas o cómo? Uh, no, it has to be full questions, porque la, las, las preguntas son abiertas, entonces las respuestas son, son completas. Oh, Por, yeah. Ajá, son, son oh, completas. Yeah. Si fuese can you o could you, ahí sí es cerrada, pero si es what, why, when, eso son preguntas mm -hmm. con respuestas completas. Uh -huh. Y mire, teacher, esta pregunta está buena porque es que no sé, no, 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 no hay como, como Ajá, a ver. relacionarla. What can you give to the dream? Uh, no, ¿qué quiere preguntar? Uh, puedes traer la bebida, dice. ¿Qué bebida puedes traer? What, what drink? Can you bring? Sería. Entonces tenemos que des, des, deformar donde dice what can you y en, hacer otra. En ese, por la idea que usted tiene, es necesaria. Pero si podemos pensar en otra idea que no, pero no, no requiera modificarla, pues está sí. bien. La idea es una idea que no, requ no requiera modificar esa estructura. Pero por lo que usted me dice, ¿qué bebida? Y si what drink. Por eso. Can you bring? Yo he hecho, what can you use the computer? Mm, no, porque, what can you use the computer? Como, ¿qué puedes usar la computadora? ¿Qué mm. puedes usar? No, no sería. Ahí lo, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a traer preguntas. Sería así, mire, what can you use? Nada más. What can you use at work? Por ejemplo, ¿qué puedo usar en el trabajo? Okay. I can use the computer. Ahí sí. Right. Can you use? At work. The word? At work. At work. Uh -huh. Ahí decimos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. um, oh, así, what can you use the cook the dinner? What can you use to, to cook the dinner? Para cocinar. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. can use, ahí decimos lo que podemos usar para uh, uh -huh. los utensils. What can you, you, you to cook? To, cook, dinner, di okay. to cook dinner, huh? To cook dinner. Mm. Marvin, ¿qué uh -huh. 
Uh, what uh, can you wear tomorrow for the wedding? Ajá, está bien. What can you wear tomorrow for the wedding? ¿A qué puedes usar mañana para la la boda? Está bien. Para la boda. La boda. Está bien. Ok, bueno, eh, sigamos practicando, guys. En un ratito lo voy a llamar a todos porque sé que, que creo que hay bastantes preguntas cómo formularlas. Ok. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Welcome back. Um, I know maybe it was not enough time, it was it was not sufficient. However, I want to uh, read some of your questions and this is what I want to do. Uh, do me a favor, mandeme en el chat. Uh, la pregunta que usted tuvo más problemas o cree que le costó un poquito más formularla. Que elija una y me la manda en el chat. La que, la que está dudando que puede estar incorrecta. Elija una. Si no tiene ninguna, pues it's fine. Pero si cree que alguna sí, puede bien. estar incorrecta, I'll appreciate if you can send it to the chat. Ajá. What is it, Rubén? What is it? Number five. Ajá. What is it? Tell me how you did it. Tell me how you wrote it. Dígame cómo la escribió, cómo la formuló. Uh, no finish, teacher. Oh, you didn't do that. Number five. Ah, okay. Alguien hizo la number five. Who can you? 
Who can you what? ¿Cómo diría con quién y con quién puedes ir a la fiesta? Vamos. How could you help me to solve the problem? Eso está bien. How could you help me to solve the problem? Eso está bien, linda. Number four. How could you... How could you... Es Santa... Solution no puede ser porque tentamos un verbo después de eso. How can you solve the problem? Would it be, Cristina? Uh, why could you pay more for that? Why could you pay more for that? Suena más a why couldn't you pay more for that? Quizá para que eso tenga un poquito más de sentido. Why couldn't you? ¿Por qué no podrías pagar más por eso? Why could it, couldn't you? Why could you pass the English class? Why could you pass the English class? Fíjense que me suena más a también why couldn't you pass, Norma? ¿Por qué no pudiste pasar? ¿Por qué no... Pues, pudo pasar, porque él este, suena más a eso, ¿por qué puedes pasar? No suena tanto, más why couldn't you pass? Uh, number, luego tenemos Judy, how could you lose your homework? Ajá, uh -huh, that makes sense. Why could you look a new shirt? Esa sí no, Daniel. Why could you look a new shirt? Why could you look what do you want to say, Daniel? Una razón por la que podría buscar una camisa. ¿Por qué podría buscar una nueva camisa? Algo así. Entonces, what could you look for? Agregémosle for después de look. Entonces, el verbo buscar es look for. Why could you look for? Look for. Exactly. Linda, Look who for, can uh, leave this package with me? Who can you leave this package with? Esa está excelente. Who can you leave this package with? Así, esa es la estructura correcta. What can you do to help? What can you do to help the environment? También está bien, María y Dalia. How could you learn to drive? También está bien. Who can, who can go with me to the class? Who can go with me to the class? Está bien. Suena a subject question, pero está bien. Uh, what can you have for me in the party? También suena. Uh, why could you walk on the moon? <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Makes sense. Um, okay. I will be an astronaut. Okay. Um, so, guys, uh, maybe tomorrow we can take some minutes for us to go over some questions about this questions okay i know we don't have much time left and only one minute but then uh, tomorrow keep your questions for tomorrow uh, regarding this activity and we go over this i promise okay you remind me about it and we start checking uh, those specific questions that you might have mañana me volvemos a tomar y vemos las preguntas porque si escuché algún par por ahí y creo que hay un detallitos que podemos modificar. Um, guys, voy a tomar la asistencia porque ya me pasé un ratito. Um, sorry for those who are, uh, who have, you know, no time to exceed. <laughs> okay, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present teacher. Daniel. Present teacher. Elsie. Present teacher. Gabriela. Harrison. Jose Miguel. Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you. JC. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Linda. Present teacher. María Idalia, María Julia. Present teacher. teacher. Marlene, Marvin. Present teacher. Marlene. No Norma. Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Thank you, Rafa. Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. Judy. Present teacher. Thank, thank you so much, Present. guys. Thank you so much. Uh, porfa, hagan las actividades pendientes porque tenemos el midterm y tenemos el homework assignment. Eh, para poder enviar las notas necesito que estén completas. Yo las envío mañana temprano. Las envío a las 8 de la mañana. Así que, uh, please um, do it and see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
tomorrow for you. E Linda, que tal foi Linda? How's it going, Linda? Good, all good. Everything good, teacher. All good, all good in the hood. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice, so um, any questions, Linda? Mm. The, the modal verbs are some confused for me. Confusing? Might, may, and might, can, and could are confused. Sí, es, es más un término. Cuando usarlos. Ajá, le voy a decir lo siguiente. Es más, es más de formalidad y cortesía que de diferencias. O sea, es decir, que más se ha está determinado por formalidad y cortesía y... Eh, que algo más marcado no existe porque el, el can y el could, ya hemos dicho que el could es more polite, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que pasa es que el could a veces se utiliza como un, uh, como, un, uh, como un modal en pasado y allí podría ser un poco confuso. Este, por ejemplo, I, could, I, I couldn't play soccer. Por ejemplo, ahí no pude, no pude jugar, ¿verdad? Pero si ya, si ya lo uso, could you help me, please? Ahí no es, pudiste ayudarme, ahí es, podrías ayudarme. Por eso es que yo creo que... Cuando es, pregunta, Ticho, ajá, nada más. Cuando, cuando dejo una pregunta, ajá. No, pero le puedo decir, I could help you, I could help you right now. Es, es un statement, pero es, por eso, es más que todo es la intención la intención mm -hmm. que se tenga, porque por eso les daba unos escenarios, por ejemplo, si es un request, si es una suggestion, entonces ahí donde tenemos que eh, más que todo jugar con esas estructuras, ¿verdad? Si el escenario me va a ayudar a contextualizar más. Yo mm -hmm. le voy a decir, no, no hay que, al momento de estar hablando, linda, este, no, está diciendo, ¿cuál es el quién? ¿Cuál es el could? No, usted se, ya le va a salir, va could y le va a could, more polite. And then can, es porque de repente, ¿quién se va a usar para habilidades? Y nada que ver para hacer requests. Por ejemplo. analizando antes de y ahí se traba. <risa> no, pero este, bueno, tiene razón en ese, en ese sentido de que uh, los modales, entonces, ¿cuál utilizo? Eh, yo más creo de que si hablamos de formalidad, quedémonos y de, y de cortesía, así, porque meternos más en el rollo de, de son iguales o no son iguales, este, es mejor entenderlo en un contexto, en un, en un contexto. El contexto le va a ayudar a determinar cuál es el más adecuado. Entonces, este, y la estructura, no puedo decirle que está directamente así como establecida, porque le estaría mintiendo, porque ya le acabo de decir que Q de repente se utiliza para hablar en pasado. Y ahí ya, entonces ya, ya ahí ya no le puedo decir que el curso lo es cortesía, porque, o más cortés, porque ya es otro tema. Entonces, eh, mi sugerencia, para no darle tanta vuelta, es que, es que se, se, se ajuste a escenarios, ¿verdad? Entonces, Q lo utilizo para hacer requests, para hacer algún tipo de sugerencia, entonces así. Y también eh, puedo usar Ken, lo único que es más informal. Entonces, uh -huh. así. Y lo otro de my y may, que la diferencia es mínima también. Solo cuando hablamos de probabilidad, uh -huh. el porcentaje, ¿verdad? Es menos. A mí, eh, mi profesor, eh, que era un americano, me dijo que might siempre se traduce como pueda que. Y es más informal. Por ejemplo, I might go y pueda que vaya. I might go. I might. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Y el otro como... Uh, el may es, um, ¿cómo le digo? El may suena más a permisibilidad, como a permission, ¿verdad? Uh, mm. y tam, entonces creo que son esos detallitos que más bien se van a ir perfeccionando entre más uh, se escriba o se utilice. A mí, yo más que, a mí, a mí, lo personal me gusta más usar could. 
could suena más. Oh, would you? El would también son de los bien favoritos. Can es rarely that I use it. Uh, pero ahí como que usted... Uh -huh. ¿Hay ¿Alguna estructura que usted tenga alguna pregunta, Linda? ¿Alguna... Estructura. ¿Algún comentario? O... Me confundí un poquito con lo de hoy. De uh, I would like to. Uh -huh. Luego iría el subject, ¿verdad? Ajá, el Después lo... del to, I would like to, subject, y luego el verbo. Ahí me confundí un poquito mm. en las estructuras. Uh -huh. Fíjense que si pone I would like to, no sería el subject, porque dijimos de que vamos a decir I would mm. like, y luego va el object pronoun, y luego va to. Es decir que este, solo podría I would like to, si lo que va a poner después es un verbo. Por ejemplo, I would like to uh -huh. play uh -huh. soccer. Cuando Pero nos si... referimos con dos personas, teacher, como usted estaba diciendo, esa uh -huh. me confundió un poco. Entonces, cuando nos referimos ah. a dos personas, sería el, el objeto va a ir justamente después del verbo, independientemente si es like o sea otro verbo. Por ejemplo, I would like you to be my friend. I would like you. Después sí. de like, le puse tú. O I would like her, me gustaría que ella. Puede usarlo con otro verbo. I would need you, necesitaría que usted um, help me with this. Entonces, siempre que pongamos el would, el verbo, va a ir el objeto directo y luego to y el verbo. Pero si va a usar would like to, entonces ahí después de would like to pone un verbo. Un solo. El verbo. Ah, el Ajá. verbo. Ajá. Entonces, es decir, la estructura va a ser would, verbo, objeto directo, pero si es would like to, no ponemos objeto directo, ponemos otro verbo va otro verbo Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. porque el to va a conectar un, una acción no va a conectar un objeto directo no podemos, el to conecta una acción por lo general uh -huh. okay. este, vaya linda pues yo agradezco sus preguntas en realidad eh, en lo personal es una de las personas que más sobresale por sus ideas, por su acento, por sus contribuciones. Mantenga esa actitud. Yo sé que a veces andan cansados, pero bueno, es parte del sacrificio. Ayer decíamos, antes decíamos que, que el true learning sucede cuando hay, hay así, se toma energía, pasión y un deseo de querer aprender. Aunque a veces andamos ahí todo tired, but it's part of the process. Así que échale ganas, linda, y gracias por su tiempo. Y eh, pues espero pues solo sean 10 ahí que van a estar en, la, en, la, en el midterm y en los quizzes. Y mañana pues mandamos. Gracias. Bueno, pues take care a lot and see you tomorrow. Gracias, Bueno, bueno. Gracias. Good night. Good night.